Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our partner 15. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about template hierarchy in WordPress. If I back to browser, now inside this video, we are using our current theme. So as in the last video, we had an issue about the post. If you go to post section, click on edit post and here inside this we are not getting about the featured image section so first of all let's fix that issue so what i have to do back to editor go to functions.php and we need to add a theme support that is supports post thumbnail image so if we go inside this which is a function what we have called inside this action hook called after setup theme now inside this we are going to register a setup so before that i am pressing ctrl b so let's say that register theme support now here i am to use the function called add theme support and inside this if we want to actually support the featured image section so we need to pass a value inside this something called post hyphen thumbnails now if we save these changes back here reload this page and inside this post section now as we can see that here we have a featured image section this is because we have successfully added a theme support now if i click on add new if we create any new post then th this is the section like featured image what is default coming now inside this video we will continue about template hierarchy what is the meaning of template hierarchy if we back to browser and go inside this menus as we know that so far we have created these menu items called home about services and contact page so right now all these pages are using the same template called index.php why they are using because we have only index.php right now inside our custom template sorry custom theme apart from index.php we have other several options so inside this video we will understand about the pages templates so first of all let's see about first that what is the difference between front page as well as a home page so this is our project url inside this url if suppose we click on this home this is the home url click on about this is about url click on services services url and this is our contact url so if we click on this home page means on home menu icon so this is all about the home page content but front page indicates about the listing of post what i mean if I open a duplicate tab and get rid of this home from here pressing enter now inside this page we are getting all the posts what we have created inside WordPress setup so this is the listing of all posts but here this is all about the home URL and inside this home URL all we have about the home page details only so inside WordPress front page indicates all about the listing of all posts what we have inside our database but home page indicates all about the home content can we make about the default layout of listing all the posts to a home page yes we can make it as now if i go inside our admin panel go inside the settings click on reading and inside this as we can see that your home page displays so here we have a setting called a static page now if i click on this checkbox now we want that all the post list inside this home page now this is the setting i did means all the post will go and list inside this home page now if i click on this save changes setting saved successfully now if we go to the url and as we know that this is our home page now if i reload this page now inside this page all the contents now changed and this time we are getting all the post what we have inside our database so template hierarchy in wordpress indicates about the using of templates of each pages each post inside a wordpress 
Now if I go to our admin panel and I'm going to install a plugin something called So Current Template. Click on Add New. And inside this, we are going to install a plugin from WordPress repository something called So Current Template. Now if I hit Enter, it will go and search and this is the plugin what actually I was talking about. Now if I click on this install now, so currently it is asking for FTP details. But right now I am not interested to pass all these details. So what I will do, go to editor, open about wpconfig.php and inside this file I am to define a constant. So let's say that define, here we need to pass called fs underscore method and here I am going to pass a value called direct here. Now if we save these changes, back to browser, reload this page. Now here is the our plugin. If I click on install now and as we can see that we have successfully escaped the step of like FTP details and currently it is installing that plugin and successfully we have installed. Now if I click on activate button, so we have successfully activated. Now go inside our front end layout, reload this page. So after reloading, as we can see that inside this admin bar, we have a template section. This is enabled by means of installing so current template plugin. So right now, as we know that this is our front-end URL, so at this URL, we are using index.php. This plugin is very useful like so current template. This is very useful if we want to see that what pages template are currently using by any of the pages or any of the URLs. Now at the front end, we are using index.php and as we hover inside this, we are getting that this is index.php of our custom theme. And inside this template, what are the files we have included? We have included by means of using get header function of this header.php file as well as footer.php by using get footer function and automatically theme included functions.php file. Now if we click on any of the URLs like home, here we have our another URL. So if I click on that, this is about page and inside this, as we can see that we are using the same template called index.php. Now if I back to editor, now inside this theme, means inside our custom theme, I am going to create our first file that is frontpage.php. So let's say that front page dot php. Now before creating this page, if we open an image and inside this image, we can understand about template hierarchy of WordPress. So as we have discussed that the front page dot php means the front page of our WordPress site default indicates about the listing of all the posts. But we can change about the listing of all posts from front page to any of the custom page what we have developed. So inside this case, we have changed all about listing of post to a specific page that is home page. Now if I go to WordPress and inside this admin panel, as we know that we have changed the settings from like frontpage.php to our home page. Now if I make these changes, let's say your latest post, save changes and as we have reverted back, it means that the list of posts is going to display on all in about frontpage.php. So right now, if we go here and again, what I will do, rename this page, let's say old and if I go here and re reload all about our home URL and this is using index.php. But as we know that inside this template hierarchy, if we have the page called frontend.php, so it is going to use frontpage.php instead of index.php. But if suppose we don't have any files with this name, so by default, it is going to use called index.php. So right now here we have no frontpage.php file. So that's why it is using called index.php. So if I go here and again, if I rename to let's say 
frontend.php, I am putting h1 tag and let's say front page. Now if you save this change, back to browser, reload this page and as we can see that if we have the page called front page then our latest post is using this front page URL. Again if I go here, copy all the contents of index.php and putting here index.php. Go back, reload this page and as we can see inside this template section, instead of index.php, we are using currently called frontpage.php. So this page indicates all about the listing of all the posts what we have created. But let's say that if we want to change our latest post page called home, go here, click on save changes, back to frontend. And right now it is using called front page, reload this page and this time it is using called index.php. Why? Because we have changed the layout from our default page to home page. And as we know that from this template hierarchy, the home page first find all about home.php. If this page is not available then it will go and search for index.php. So that's why it is rendering all the contents inside this. Now if I back to editor, go inside this theme and if I create a file called home.php, copy all the contents of this front page, putting here, save this change, back here reload this page and as we can see that the template has been changed. So inside this video session guys successfully we understood about front page means the role of front page as well as the home page. Front page is the file which is indicates or actually includes all the posts what we have inside our database. But the homepage.php content is contents. But inside this course, we have actually switched back our latest post, latest post with this home.php. So inside this template hierarchy, we understood about this home.php as well as frontpage.php. Inside this template hierarchy image, we have multiple things, multiple functions we will understand one by one inside this course. So in the next video, we will understand all about this custom template.php, page slug, page id as well as page.php. So inside this video session guys, if you in doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.